What's up guys, Mike here, and did you know that Pascal Siakam once was supposed to be a Catholic priest? Did you also know that because of everything that happened to him in Africa, because of everything that has happened to him in his life that has gotten him to where he is today, that Pascal Siakam calls himself the Chosen One? Well, if you didn't know any of that, or if you did and you still want to learn more, that is the topic of today's video. We are looking at Pascal Siakam's life, his journey to the NBA, how he has become such a great player, and we're going to ask the question is he really the NBA's chosen one so let's get into it. having grown up in a village in Cameroon Pasco Siakam originally planned on becoming a Catholic priest and so his father sent him to St Andrews seminary school from the age of 11 to 15. with that type of education Pascal did not want to defy his father however he did have a very big habit of breaking the rules as father Armel Collins stated later on quote Pascal turned from a very common child into a very stubborn boy things would actually get so bad that Collins would consider kicking Siakam out of school however due to his excellent academic record Pascal would be allowed to stay I bring this story up because it was at St Andrews that would later help him develop from a no-name NBA rookie to and I'm just gonna say it now a 2020 NBA all-star during his time at St Andrews Pascal would wake up at 5 30 a.m to chop wood and wash dishes which is a very big difference from the normal work ethic type videos we do on this channel normally we hear something like Jimmy Butler would wake up at 5 30 a.m. to work on his jump shot no Pascal was out there chopping wood and to go even further here Siakam would actually fall in love with soccer at an early age and didn't even like basketball at all however at the late age of 15 and when I say late age there I mean in terms of basketball development while he was still in school Luke and Ba Amute just happened to be thrown a camp right down the road from Pascal. With this, luck would fall into place and Luke Mba Amute could not help but notice that one of the players at his camp just so happened to have NBA type potential. And with an NBA player now filling a mentor type role for him, Siakam would receive an invitation to go to a basketball without borders camp in South Africa. And again, luck would fall into place here as Pascal did not really want to go to this camp, but due to the fact that his sister Vanessa just happened to live where the camp was, Pascal would decide to attend the camp and due to his athleticism and natural ability, of course his play would catch many, many eyes and one thing would lead to another and suddenly Pascal was headed to the United States to play for God's Academy in Texas. There at God's Academy, suddenly everything changed because in Africa, Pascal was able to use his natural athleticism to dominate on the court. However, now in the United States, states playing against players who were much more skilled pascal was no longer able to get by on just his natural athleticism alone and because his skills were not that impressive at the time the beginning of his organized basketball career really was a struggle with that said what would set this man apart was an insane drive to succeed nobody absolutely nobody around him would outwork Pascal. He made sure of that. He also made sure that when he was on the court, he was always hustling. He was always diving for loose balls. He was always chasing down rebounds. He was always willing on and off the court to put in that extra work that takes you to the next Level. And because of this, New Mexico State decided that even though his skills were not really there yet, they would offer him a Division I scholarship because of his athleticism and again, his insane motive. The New Mexico State coach Marvin Menzies actually would say, quote, the skill set wasn't great, but the motor was fantastic. He had this innate natural thing that sometimes you can't coach. Unfortunately though, after redshirting his freshman year at New Mexico State, Pascal Siakam's life would change forever as he would receive the sudden and unfortunate news that his father had been killed in a car accident. Now, Pascal's dad was actually the mayor of a city back home, and he had always supported Pascal on his basketball journey, so this was devastating and earth-shattering news for Pascal at the time. And as they say, when it rains, it pours, and so the bad luck did not stop there. Due to issues with his visa, the risk became apparent that if Siakam left the country for his father, 
father's funeral, there would be a legitimate chance that he would not be allowed back in the United States. That would mean, of course, goodbye to any NBA dreams he had. Because of this, Siakam had to choose between missing out on his own father's funeral to continue chasing after his professional basketball career or going back to be at the funeral with the clear risk of not being able to come back to America. This is one of the hardest decisions I've ever heard of. And if I was in his shoes, I'd have zero idea what I would do. But as Pascal later stated, My dad always tried to have one of his sons play in the NBA. That was his dream. I feel really good about it. You know, I feel like I'm the chosen one. Pascal Siakam would take the chance of a lifetime and the rest is history. After a decent enough freshman season at New Mexico State, Pascal would go on to win conference player of the year as a sophomore and eventually transformed into a first round pick for the Toronto Raptors in 2016. However, Siakam's start to his NBA career was a slow progression. The thing was though, the drive was still there to be great and the organization saw this. They saw a young player who was hungry. They saw a player with tons of potential who would do anything to become the best and so uh, Pascal would end up starting 38 games as a rookie based on pure work ethic alone. Trust me guys, the skills were not there yet and because of this, Siakam would actually be placed in the G League and it was there that the Raptors would heavily focus on his development, a focus that would pay off big time in the future. By the way, the Raptors 905, the team that Pascal Siakam was playing for in the G League, also just happened to have another player by the name of Fred Van Vliet on it. Unsurprisingly, the combo of Van Vliet and Siakam would lead the G League team to a championship victory, and it was in the G League finals that Siakam's potential became very clear. Again, the athletic ability had always been there, but it was his IQ on the floor that was finally starting to catch up. It was this ability that was growing at the time and is still growing now that would set the tone for the success that would eventually come, aka it would allow Pascal to develop from a player who was capable of winning a G League championship to a player who was the second best player on an NBA Finals winner. And yes, we got a little ahead of ourselves at the time, but again, it was clear that the hard work over the years was finally paying off. Between his second and third seasons, Siakam would go from averaging 7.3 points per game to 16.9, and then in the playoffs, he would up his numbers to an emerging star level 19 points and 7.1 rebounds a game. On top of this, Siakam began to become one of the better defenders in the league as his superb length enabled him to stop offensive attackers at will. Then, when you combine this with his developing three-point shot, well, all of this added up to Siakam winning the most improved player in the NBA last season. From there, of course, as we've stated, although it was Kawhi Leonard who did carry the Raptors to an NBA championship, Pascal Siakam was a clear second option on this team, and just personally, I was very impressed by the way he played, as at times early on, it seemed like he was a little afraid of the moment, but then, as the playoffs continued, it was clear that his confidence had grown and grown to the point where in game one of the NBA Finals, he would drop 32 points on 14 of 17 shooting, and then to close the series out in a game six four-point win, it was Siakam who would knock down three threes and finish with 26 points and 10 rebounds in a performance that can only be described as clutch. Unsurprisingly, a few months after winning a ring, the Toronto Raptors would sign Pascal to a $130 million contract extension. An extension in my eyes that is very well deserved as, again, Pascal Siakam has a legendary work ethic. He has a legendary drive that is not going to stop anytime soon. When I look at players like Pascal that are full of potential, I always am going to bet on the guys that outwork everyone around them, and that is who Pascal Siakam is. And as if he was on a mission to prove all of his haters wrong, Pascal did start off the 2020 season with a monster 34.18 rebound and 5 assist performance. Like I said before, the man is going going to be a 2020 all-star. He is going to continue to grow as a player. He is going to be a star level talent for a very long time and he might just be the chosen one. And there we have it guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Just a reminder, the main channel is now posting videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday unless something big happens and I end up posting on a different day. But what I'm telling you is there are going to be at least three main channel videos a week for the foreseeable future. You can count on that. Trust me. So make sure you subscribe if you 
you're new so you don't miss a video it is the nba season baby i'm hyped i know you're hyped there's going to be tons of cool nba content coming subscribe so you don't miss anything if you're already subscribed thank you so much for supporting you're awesome we all know it and as always have an awesome day and cue that music by the way if you're still here while the music is cued here are two videos i think you are going to love watching all you have to do is just click on either one of them on the screen right here and other than that guys again have a great day and peace